New UNLV head coach Barry Odom recently sat down with the Las Vegas Review Journal for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Odom was named the 13th head coach in program history on December 6th and was introduced to the public on December 7th. But Odom tells us that December 7th was not the first time he had visited the Fertitta football complex. I had just been to a local high school. I went to four or five or six that day. I had time before um, before my flight took off and I ended up, I said, I'm just going to see how close this is because I had, had seen it online. So I ended up pulling in the parking lot. Um, I went and one of the side doors were open and I went in and, and with full intention of meeting the receptionist or whoever was there to ask for permission to, to look um, around. There wasn't anybody there. So this, I walked in and looked around and made it into the weight room in the lobby, up the stairs and about the time I made it up the stairs, I got recognized and asked if I needed anything. And they said I was here looking around and they were gracious. They were awesome. Um, so I got a sneak peek on, you never know how life turns and twists and where you end up. And now your name's on the door. Yeah, it's, uh, if, you, if you knew you know, then what you know now, uh, how life goes, it's interesting, but I, I am, a firm believer that, that God puts you right where you're supposed to be and uh, excited that my feet are here. Now that Odom can enter the building without fear of trespassing, it's time to get to work with the Rebels. All the people in the city of Vegas have been overwhelmingly um, gracious and, and warm in, in the reception, not only for me, but, but new staff, our family, uh, you know, my family that's, that's here and transitioning. Um, the current team on having a chance to meet with all of them. It's so exciting for me because I understand a little bit where they're coming from, uh, the excitement that we have together on, on how we're gonna build this. And then you know, they transition from taking final exams now. They're gone you know, back home over the holiday break and then we'll get started back in January. So, uh, and, then, and then recruiting and all the things that have gone on in the last few days with a few high school visits before the recruiting calendar went dead. Um, it's been great, and I just wish we had a few more hours in each day uh, to get a few more things done, but, but it's been the reception, uh, the openness, uh, the, the feeling in the city, the excitement. Uh, I wouldn't have scripted it really any differently. Well, I think the sky's the limit. You look at the conference that we're in, uh, geographical location, the facilities. There's, there's one Vegas in the world, and I want it to be the city's team. I want it to be something that we're competing and winning championships and our expectation is that and and i'm not gonna it's not it's not a rebuild um you've got to put together a plan with staff and and your roster to go compete and go win right now and that's the approach with the urgency that we're going to try to take on every single day while winning championships with UNLV is at the top of Odom's list, being a good father is his main priority. Yeah, I'm, I'm so fortunate that my wife, we met in college, uh, Tia, we've been married 22 years. Uh, we have a son, JT, that's a senior in high school. Um, and he is mature beyond his years, kind of, I've been gone a lot in coaching and he feels like, and I feel like, he runs the house a lot of times. Um, so excited to see what his next phase of college looks like. I'm gonna, would love to have a chance to coach him here. Um, my middle son, Garrett, is a sophomore in high school. Um, he is, um, you know, I raised both sons, I feel like exactly the same, uh, but they're so different. And, uh, but he's, he's got such a tremendous spirit about life and then our uh, daughter, uh, Anna Lockwood, is seven, and uh, she's got more energy than the entire city put together. Um, she's amazing and um, has changed the scope of the way that I look at things. She's kind of softened me up over the years uh, since we had her. And uh, our, my, I'm, I'm blessed because my, my wife and my kids are, they're happy and they're healthy. And there's, there's a lot for that and uh, very fortunate that uh, we'll be making the jump into this city together and we can't wait to be um, residents here full time. She runs the show, doesn't she? It's not even close. Yes, whatever she wants, normally she gets and she knows the way to get it, yeah. 
For more on this one-on-one -on -one interview with Barry Odom, head to LVRJ.com. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm Cassie Soto.